Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be starting a MCPE series on cave houses. Now this will be interesting. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I made this world, I went on it, and I found this place to do it, but I haven't started building anything or anything like that. So yeah. I did it with a bonus chest because why not? It helps me out. And I chose this cave because it looks like it will be a good cave to put a cave house in. And that other one over there, I don't know. I think I'll just go mining in that. So what's even better about this location is that it has a village. And I haven't even been in the village yet, so I'm going to check for a um workshop i think it's called or no blacksmith shop i'm gonna look for blacksmith shop because i would really like to find one and all the treasures within is this one i no not there sweet i found one this is awesome Okay, let's see what there is. Oh my gosh, yes. This is going to be awesome. Four loaves of bread, three iron boots, six obsidian. That's awesome. And then the flower, obviously. I don't need that. Anything else? Oh, wow, the pathway leads up the mountain. I wonder if there's more houses up there. I'll go check it out. If I can find a way to get up there, that would be really nice. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think that side back there is going to work. I'll try it over here. Okay, this kind of looks better-ish. Not really, I don't know. I hate when I have to break grass to get up mountains. It's so annoying. There's the village. Build a little stairway here. This is hard to get up. Okay. Here we go. And into the path. A. Where is it? Oh, seriously? All this work for nothing. Wow. I was expecting there to be at least one small village house up here because the pathway led up, but mm, big letdown. Yeah, I totally forgot about the bonus chest. Sweet, some nice stuff in here. Um, it's easier to just break it with an axe and get everything and take it out. Okay, well, this is some good items. I'm going to go check out the cave. Need a pickaxe and some torches. Gotta put on armor just in case there's some mobs. And I think there will be. Okay, um, no. Okay. This spot right here, this looks good for making a house. And then across right there, uh, that will be good for making a farm later on. Okay, so let's start building. Or mining, I should say. Building mining, it doesn't matter because we're kind of doing the same thing. Okay, this is going to take a long time with a wooden pickaxe, and I am not looking forward to that. 
I'm still really disappointed that there was nothing up on the mount, and I was having high hopes for that. I'm going to make the walls three blocks thick in between the house and cave, just in case I want to incorporate any redstone or something like that. Jeez, it's dark in here. I need more torches. And I need some coal. And thankfully, the cave has provided us with some coal. I hate wooden tools. They take forever to mine things. Okay. Also, just a tip here. Whenever you're on a survival world and you find coal, usually, if I were you, I'd mine it all up because a lot of times I find coal and iron, like, right next to each other. So, always mine up as much coal as possible when you find it. But I know it's really big deposits of it, but just try your best to mine up as much as you can. Just a little tip there. Okay. That should be enough coal. Four sticks, that's not a lot. Okay, at least I have something to light up my house with. For what I have so far of my house. And later on in the video, I will be building a food machine in my house, just like I showed you on the last Minecraft tutorial. That's what I meant by cave houses. So I'll show you what I do when I live in caves. Maybe it will inspire you, and you'll come up with your own ideas, or you can just do what I do, because I think it's really cool. <sighs> Thank goodness the pickaxe is almost broken, so I can exchange it with a stone one. Thank goodness. Okay, now, I need to build a stone pickaxe. But I don't have any wood, so I need to get some wood and make some sticks. Darn it, it's nighttime. I have no defense right now. Alright, good thing the zombies are probably over there harassing the villagers and not me. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way across there to get some trees because I saw some trees up on the mountain. And here they are. I don't need that much wood, so I think one will be fine and... This one looks good, but it's really dark out, so let's fix that. I need my axe. Oh, it's already in my hot bar. So, with these sticks, I can build some good tools like swords, axes, and pickaxes. I won't really need any shovels or hoes till later because I'm not really focused on farming or digging right now. <laughs> Just building my house. And after that, I'm probably going to focus on mining.
I'm only gonna need one sword, but I'm gonna make two pickaxes and axes because those run out quickly when you use them a lot, like I do. I like putting my sword first. Extra boots there, so I can just use those when the ones I have run out. And let's keep working on the house. Oh, so much better than a wooden pickaxe. But definitely not as good as not as good as a diamond. And I will be getting a diamond pickaxe later in the game because I'm good at that stuff. Oh god, there's a bunch of coal in my house, and I don't want that for a floor because it's ugly, but I want the coal. So I'm going to have to mine up all that coal, and coal is in big deposits, as I said earlier. going to mine back this wall because usually I like putting my furnaces and crafting tables into a wall to um, make more space in the house. So I'll be putting them over here, because why not? I just like them on my right side when I walk in the door. I'm just going to put one more row back. Okay, now I need to get my crafting table. Usually I like to get a lot of furnaces because I go mining a lot and I get a ton of different ores and I go hunting a lot and I get a ton of different meats and I like cooking them all at once instead of just waiting and cooking them in one furnace because that takes a very long time and it's annoying to wait a very long time. I'm going to make three more. And then just some dirt over there because I don't need that much furnaces or that many furnaces. Okay, looking good so far. Let's take care of some of this coal problem. Honestly, I don't even care if I don't get it all. I just don't want it to be my floor. But I'm going to get as much as I can before I get bored. And I'm also going to fill up the entire hole because I don't want to just fill up the top and have monsters spawning under there because that would be really annoying to hear the noise of them all the time. And if I accidentally break a block, then I fall into a pit of monsters, which I will not like. So when I'm done, I'm going to fill everything in completely. Jeez, there's a lot of coal down here, and I bet there's a lot more on the other side, too. So, that's gonna be a big project to do. How much is there? Jeez. Alright, I don't even care. I'm just gonna fill this in. Well, that was a lot of coal, and now I just need to get a ton more of sticks to make a ton of torches. Or I can just put the coal in the furnaces, because why not? <laughs> I usually like to put coal or birch wood in the furnaces. Okay, this is going to be a big process completing this house. Can I make a jungle door? Don't want acacia, that's just ugly. I'm probably going to use it for furnace fuel later. Um, oh, I need six wood planks to build a door, and I only have four jungle wood. So, 
that's not really good. Well, this is the end of the first episode. So this is a series and there will be more episodes. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, smash the notifications bell so you will be so you will know when I publish more content. Until next time. Thanks for watching, guys.